All right, welcome back, everybody. Our next guest here on Morning Live, let me read her Twitter handle for you, and I suppose that might give you uh, a little bit of uh, understanding as to the caliber of guest we have here. She's a former member of the European Parliament, equal rights, human rights, minorities, fight against cross-border crime and migration. Now, our next guest is Emine Boskert. Um, she's here as the head of Unisport Pro. That's a global platform for player and athlete associations. She's attending the Global Watch Summit that's taking place here at Empress Palace started yesterday happening today hopefully this global charter will also be signed by the end of today's proceedings it is an absolute pleasure having you here on the program and, and having you here in South Africa so thank you for taking the time thank you now you're of Turkish and Dutch descent so mm -hmm. there's lots of blood flowing around in you I mean and you have such a, a strong stance when it comes to anti-racism mm -hmm. what is your stance on it Racism is personal to every one of us. Uh, if, if I look at my own situation, I'm Turkish, I'm Dutch. My husband is from South America. He has, is from African descent. He has Chinese roots. So my son is someone of the world, you know? All the parts of the world are united. Uh, but still in this time, 2014, he comes home and asks me as his mother, why are the kids in school saying I'm different because my skin is brown? And that makes racism very personal. Yeah. And what we have to do with racism is we have to fight it, we have to combat it, uh, especially in sports, because sports is a reflection of society. Whatever happens in sports is happening on a very bigger scale in society. That's why I decided uh, 10 years ago when I was a new member of European Parliament that the fight against racism, racism in sport was going to be one of my big priorities. Yeah, and I imagine an initiative like Global Watch is at the center of everything you believe in. I mean, when you were contacted to come to the summit and also uh, be a part of this, what was your immediate reaction? I'm here. Absolute yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. To you. Yes, absolutely. Because uh, we can't beat racism just, you know, on a local scale. It is global. Mm. So if you want to do something, you should uh, also uh, do something on the global scale. And uh, we have a lot of legislation. We have a lot of projects. But the important thing is also implementation. We need to see that, that things are changing in the lives of people, that uh, people are not discriminated because of their uh, nationality, their uh, ethnicity, whatever. Discrimination is an ugly thing in society, yeah. and we, as politicians or all other people, we have to fight against it. Unisport, just very quickly, what is it that you do to try and get rid of discrimination in sports? Uh, in the Parliament, uh, we worked. Um, no, let, let, let me say it like this: What is needed to combat uh, discrimination in sports, apart from all the legislation, is also leadership and solidarity. Yeah. To give you an example, in the Netherlands, just last week, we had a big scandal: uh, nine gorgeous football players, soccer players, uh, with a dark skin, tweeted a selfie. And the reactions who came afterwards were very racist, like FC Monkey, FC uh, Banana Shake, uh, Nine Black Peets. We have that issue in the Netherlands. And the good thing was that people in Dutch society stand up. Yeah. The captain of the Dutch national team immediately reacted very strongly. Uh, all the other players, and they are white players, they, and, and that's what is needed. And if you have that solidarity, it yeah. um, it's, it's like, a little bit like Ubuntu. Yeah. Uh, whenever someone is hurt, it's hurting the whole team. So we have to stand together to combat racism. Unbelievable. Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, thank you for being a part of this as well. It's a big day ahead here at Emperor's adopting this global charter to try and eradicate all forms of racism. And you hear from all of our guests, this is happening everywhere in the world. So this really needs a massive initiative like this. Emin Boskot, thank you very much for joining us here on the program. Let's take a quick break. We're when we return, we'll have the news with Ayandali.